Hi guys, welcome back to Booksell Mode. I am so glad that you are joining me today because so far this book has been my favorite Booksell Mode book that we've done so far. <sighs> so finally, number one, I just finished reading this that last night. Um, it's Thursday today. This video will be going up on Friday. And oh my goodness. This book had me on the edge of my seat. Rise of the Griffin was, it was so good. I'm so happy that I read it. I'm so happy that I started this series because it is so good. This book made me so happy. Um, number one, obviously, if you're new here, then this is a place that the people who are part of this little book club, they get to come and they get to talk about the books that I review or talk about, whatnot. Right now, I'm, I didn't start with very heavy hitting books. I started with a Bellador series by Sherilyn Kenyon and Diana Love. I have read all of Sherilyn Kenyon's books. I have not read any of um, Diana Love's other, other books, but I really, really, really love the Bellador series. It's absolutely amazing. And at first, I when I started out reading it, it was kind of romancy, kind of sci-fi, kind of butt-kicking, kung fu, gods and goddesses, pantheon-esque, that sort of thing. Um, but as you read it, it gets more and more complex, and the different pantheon gods and goddesses start developing personalities, a little bit devious, some are very caring. Um, you get spirit guides, you get all sorts of mythology and uh, you know you have Celtic gods and goddesses you have um, native gods and goddesses ones from Russia and everything like that it's um, it's very involved and the characters start to become more intertwined and as they do their stories start to evolve and it's such it's such a good experience reading these books um, they are they're good books but I'm getting off track. Basically, spoilers. Tons and tons and tons of spoilers because I'm going to be talking about a book that I've already read. If you have not yet read Rise of the Griffin, then I suggest that you go read it because it is awesome and you will love it. I also suggest that you go and read the other three books in the series, um, Blood Trinity, Alterant, and Cur The Curse. And then you read Rise of the Griffin. And after each one of those books, you should come here and you should watch those videos. You'll see annotations up here. You'll see links in the box to below. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Those of you who are not new and who have been following the book series with me, whether you're coming now, later, whenever, um, welcome back, number one. And... Uh, number two, did you love this book as much as I did? Because I love this book. Book. It was so good. I stayed up until like 2 in the morning finishing it because I was so, number one, I was like, oh my gosh, I have so much reading that I have to do. It went by like that. Like, I was, I finished this book in no time. It was crazy how fast I finished this book. I didn't think I was going to be able to post a video up this fast after I posted my last, oh, excuse me, after I posted my last book salad mode video. I didn't think that it was going to happen. And... Uh, I just, uh, I like these books. They're good books. The characters are good. They have their own faults. They have their own weaknesses. They have their strengths. They have their own personalities. These books are just wonderful. And uh, I'm so glad that I started reading this series just kind of off the cuff sort of thing. Um, I do read my books on a... Kindle. That's why in all of the book style mode pictures you will only see the back of a Kindle. Eventually you will see book covers, but for now I read them on the Kindle. And if you are not a Kindle reader, then you should, number one, look into it. And number two, you should also look into audiobooks because audiobooks make it go by so much faster. It's awesome. Trust me. You'll thank me later. So probably my favorite parts of this book were one of Alan Storm finally have sex. Yeah, I just came out there and said it. I enjoyed it. I was like sitting in bed and I was like, finally. Thank you. Finally. 
Um, I always enjoy Storm. I enjoyed the lack of Isaac Knight. Seriously, when that helicopter came in and Storm was in it, I was like, oh, thank you. I was like, my stomach, like my heart was in my stomach or my stomach was in my throat or my heart was in my throat. Whatever that saying is about being physically traumatized <laughs> because you think something horrible is happening, that was me in bed late at night because I thought that Isaac Knight was going to get out of that helicopter and start messing shit up and I was like oh thank god it's just Storm being awesome. <laughs> also I enjoyed about this book I enjoyed definitely the twist at the end because the riddle in the beginning of the book the prophecy in the beginning of the book is it's a prophecy and it's very well written to the point where you don't necessarily you come to the same conclusions that the other the characters in the book are coming to and at the end when it was Maeve and the original Cathbad the Druid I was just like and I felt so bad for Quinn and Kazira because I know Kazira was crazy like she was getting on my nerves in the last book like she was getting on my nerves I was like okay Kazira I'm done with you you can go and take your little skanky self somewhere else but then we got to see a totally different side of her and I think at this point also she was really really pushed to her limit like she wasn't taking prisoners after the stuff that Cathbad and Flavian did to her so I definitely think that it was I understand why Sherilyn and Diana did it let me put it that way they did it because otherwise if they didn't then the series would be over because there would be no more evil Mabe Queen and evil druid-esque king to tell the Mabe that they need to leave the Bellators alone. If Kazira had lived and successfully helped Quinn and Zader and all the Bellators, then the series would be over because there would then be eternal peace. Nobody would try to be trying to figure out how to get Trerroir. Um, and nobody would be trying to figure out how to kill Brina or destroy Macha or anything like that. I actually really enjoyed the Achilles Beast Championship. I think that it was kind of a silly name for it, especially like using the acronym ABC. Like, really? You couldn't have thought of anything better? Okay. Um, but... I can't think of anything better, so um, who am I to judge? I actually enjoyed the fights. I thought that they were really well written and you could see what was happening in your head. Sometimes authors kind of get kind of carried away with what's going on and you have a hard time envisioning and they start doing fancy things with like the characters and like their moves and stuff like that. So you kind of lose... Um... You almost like you almost lose track of like what the character is doing um, but in this one Eval was just doing simple things the monsters did like everything is just very kind of simple so you were able to really follow along and know what and understand what was going on which I really appreciated and I really liked um, I love storm I've already said that probably I'm gonna say it again. I love Storm. I want Storm to be a real person and I want to tell my husband. I'm sorry, but the love of my life has arrived. His name is Storm. This is him. He can turn into a panther. I'm gonna go cuddle with this panther dude and marry him and spend the rest of my life with him because I think Storm is my soulmate. Anybody else do that? Anybody else like, if this person was a real person would I get along with them? Would I like them? Would I marry them? Would they like me? 
I know. I just, I felt like the writing had stepped up. I felt that the end with Zader and Brina, oh my goodness, there is no way. There is zero way that Macha can deny that Zader did exactly what he was supposed to do and also showed Brina that like he was willing to die to make sure that she was okay. Um, Lana, hmm, she has her moments of brilliance and I'm like, yeah, go Lana, good job. And then she just like, like, oh, why? Oh, I wouldn't be safe here, I wouldn't be safe here. Why do you think that you're gonna be safe with a veil and storm? Like, they're, I, I don't know how powerful Grendel is, but I'm sure that Nicole would be well suited to defending you. And uh, like, not just that, like, okay, so I need to be like guarded. Storm has this like crazy powerful barrier and she's all safe. And then she's like, no, I can't be in one place because Grendel might find me. And it's like, you were perfectly safe. Like just stay in one place. Like don't be trying to do anything. Not just that, like shit could have hit the fan. Hit the fan if she had been found out. Like, mmm. Lana. Also now teleporting Brina and having her like hologram be there still. I don't. Frustrating. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this book as much as I did. I think that these books just keep getting better and better. I cannot wait to read the next one. Again, if you go and I will announce the next book tomorrow when this video goes up at 2 p.m. and then I will announce the next book on Goodreads, Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, and the Facebook page. So make sure that you look at my links. They're all down below. Um, I also i am thinking about making an Instagram just for Nardella mode. Let me know down below if you think I should. I hope that you have a wonderful day. So remember that if you do want to buy the book, they're normally less expensive than a hard copy of the book, and you don't have to have a Kindle in order to... You don't have to have a Kindle in order to um, read the books through the Kindle um, app. So, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. Amazon, please sponsor me. Audible, please sponsor me. That'd be awesome. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite part of the book was. Let me know who your favorite character is, your least favorite character, what annoyed you about the book, what thrills you about the book. Let me know all your little nitty gritty inside your brain thoughts about this book. And I will see you in about two weeks with the next one. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.